Hello, fellow YouTubers. Uh, my name is Sean. I am busy doing nothing uh, except for my favorite hobby. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to do a tutorial today on spray paint art. And uh, this is for the beginner or just somebody that's looking to learn something new if they don't know how to do these already. Um, I'm going to do a planet and a kind of a space scene. So um, there are some things that you'll need if you want to get into this hobby. Uh, one of the most crucial and important things that I would highly recommend is a face mask. Um, not only will it keep you COVID free, hopefully, but it will keep the paint out of your lungs. Very toxic stuff. Uh, this is a 3M6001 Neosh. Uh, sounds fancy, but you can get it at Home Depot for $30 roughly. And it comes with cartridges and filters, so I highly recommend it. If you're in an enclosed space, Please do yourself a favor, wear your mask so that we can see your beautiful paintings for a long time rather than a short time. That's the first thing. Secondly, gloves, latex gloves. So these are important. You don't want to get this paint all over your fingers and hands. It's very difficult to get off. Uh, so I would recommend wearing these unless you like to walk around looking like a speckled egg, which sometimes, quite frankly, I do. So there's these. Um, next, you'll need paint. So the paint that I like to use is the Rust-Oleum two times. Um, it has a primer and a paint. It's very thick. Uh, and the other kind of paint that I like to use, and you can get this at Home Depot, by the way, also for four dollars a can. Uh, the next kind you can get at Home Depot is the Quick Color. So there, this comes in black and white. Uh, it's very good for shading. It's light. It's kind of a mist. So I use the white for mists, waterfalls, things like that. And I use the black. This is Cutter Place. Again, a dollar a can. You can get this at Walmart. You can get all these paints at Walmart as well. But this is the black, and so I use it to shade and things like that. So there's that. Last thing is your painting surfaces. And so up here, you can see right here, you got a universe, galaxies. Um, and so this is on a three foot by four foot uh, stretched canvas in a black frame. Generally costs between $150 and $300. Uh, this frame, that's what this frame costs. Um, but you can also use. Uh, I have 12 by 20. Let me fix this camera here. Over there you can see this sunset scene right here. That's on a 12 inch by 20 inch canvas. You can get those. They're about five, uh, 12 dollars for five of them. Um, one moment. Today though. We're going to paint on poster board, something I use to practice, practice new styles, new things, new techniques, um, and also to do some paintings on. They're really fun. The paintings come out really well. Um, and there's a shiny side, usually, and a not shiny side. You want the paint on your shiny side. I did spend $40 once getting 80 of these, so they're two for a dollar. And I didn't inspect them very closely, and the sticker was on the shiny side. That was very difficult to get off in. When I did get it off and start my painting, there was a residue underneath that I couldn't quite get rid of. So make sure that you get poster board with a shiny side with no blemishes uh, if you want your painting to come out nice. All right, so we're going to get started. I'm going to leave my mask off. I am in a ventilated room. Uh, and so, again, I recommend the mask for an unventilated room. Uh, here we go. So I'm going to do start with the planet Earth. have it up in this corner of the poster board. Do my orange and just glue it over the top. You want to shake your cans up really well too as you go along so you can get a nice fine even spray. That's really important. Um, now we're going to come over the top of it with a gloss seaside blue. Clean this tip, so I usually have a tool here to clean the tips so that the spray is nice and even. Which that's not an even spray at all, but that's okay because we are going to be pulling this paint off with the medium. I'll cover the entire thing up. Gloss Brilliant Blue. 
And then we'll put a dark blue coming from right here. And I probably need to take more time cleaning the tips. It is attention to detail. So thank you. There's that. Now, uh, something you'll also need to make the textures is a magazine, like a glossy magazine here. I, I pretty much collect these, and I also collect that's right. Dust this. Looks like I got paint on my lens. Let me uh, pause it real fast and wipe that off. All right, I'm back here. You probably didn't miss me much. So before this gets too dry, we're going to put the medium on top, which is gloss white rustoleum. Just going to cover the entire thing with white. And hopefully we can peel off enough layers here to not only have a cloud cover still left, but also to have some of the earth underneath, which was the orange and green. So just place your bag on top. You can swipe it however you want the texture. Just keep working it until you get exactly what it is that you're wanting. Right, that'll suffice for the planet Earth there. So we have the planet Earth. Now we're going to put another planet on here. Start with a deep yellow. Orange, and red. For the purposes of showing you a different style, pull off, and I'm going to get a little bit of crinkle. I'm going to lay it on top, and then I'm going to get rid of it with my nails, the top layer. So. You see it adds a different texture there. It's kind of like a fiery sun. And you just work it until you have it exactly how you want it. All right, now we'll do a moon, a little moon for the earth. So start with some Gloss white. Touch of black. And again, I use a magazine. That'll make a pretty cool moon. All right, I'm going to let these dry, and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so here we go. So uh, I let these dry also when you guys were gone, just so that you don't feel like you missed anything at all. Um, no secrets here, just wanting you to learn how to do it. And so I just took the black happy place or color place and did a shading around each one of the planets to give them the effect of light coming from this way. I also use the white quick color to come in on this side of the planet and come around like that. Just a light mist on both sides. Now, uh, the next thing you'll need, let me go ahead and get my gloves on here. 
The next thing you'll need are planet stencils, and really all I mean is just some lids. Uh, find you some good lids around the house. Uh, maybe put some tape on them so that you can pull the lid off when it's done. And here we go. So I have this big one here for this. I'm going to go ahead and place this evenly over the planet. Set it down there. I have this one I'm going to place right here. And this one right here for the moon. I'm just placing it over the top of the moon. You probably can't see it because of this big guy right here. But now what I'm going to do, and this is pretty much where the painting comes alive, is I'm going to black it out. So I'm going to black out the entire poster board here with a nice even spray. I hold the can about 8 to 10 inches above the surface and just keep moving the can. You can see it here. Just moving the can quickly. I don't want to get it pulled up in any, in any spots. I just want to get it a nice even layer around the entire surface of this painting. So right in next to the corners. Hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Just a nice even spray. I don't want to hold it one spot too long. If I hold it one spot too long, it'll pull up and take a lot longer to dry. After I cover the entire surface, Now it's pretty wet. What I'm going to do to make stars, and so for stars I'll use my gloss white. I'll shake up my can really good. And I'm going to spray some on my fingers. Right there, two fingers. I'm going to flick it off to the side to get the bigger dots off so there's not huge dots. And we'll, we'll just flick it onto the painting every which way. And so on my fingers, off to the side, and then start flicking it all over the painting to make stars. Now, one thing I like to do also, is I'm going to go ahead and spray white on a couple spots where it's bleeding through a little bit. Then I'm going to take my plastic bag and I'm going to pull paint off. Here you can see some red that was underneath from this planet. You'll see it when I show you here in a moment. And I'm going to make galaxies, a star cluster. Okay. Now for the reveal, and this is where the painting comes to life, the red planet, planet Earth, and its moon. Now you see this little ring right here, it's because the paint wasn't completely dry, and so to fix that, if you desire, just take your black color plates, cheap black, and do a nice little mist over that ring. Make it disappear. And there you have it. Last thing, not least though, you always want to sign your painting. And so while this is still wet, I'm just going to come in this corner with my scalpel and sign my painting. So that to you guys. Very easy. Takes 10 minutes, maybe 15, 20 with giant time at the most. And that's the result. Thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. If you like what you saw, if you learned anything, smash the subscribe button. I'll be doing uh, different paintings, different, all sorts of different textures, tutorials, tutorials of beaches, waterfalls, you name it. If you're interested, please smash the subscribe button. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Have a nice day.